Hello, hope you're doing good. In this video, I will be showing you how to add store page in Wix. Once on your Wix website, as you can see right here, I'm currently on the editor page. All you'll need to do is go over to the left hand menu option and I want you to select the third icon from the top left hand corner, which is pages and menu. And you are going to tap on that. Then all you will need to do now to add the store page, you are going to tap on add page. After selecting Add Page, I want you to pay attention to the left hand menu option. You are going to select Store. Then you will see the option Add Wix Stores. You are going to tap right there. Once you have done that, you are going to give it a few seconds while the app is being installed as you can see right there. Once it has been added, you will be redirected to the Store page. On this Store page, you are going to see some sample products. And I'm going to be showing you step by step how you'll be able to edit them and upload your own products. So for example, you can see it is loading up right there in the background. So just give it a few seconds to finish. It's finished uploading as you can see right here. As I was saying earlier, you can see that we have some sample products on it. Now that the products have been added, all you'll need to do now is hover over the page. Then in the top left hand corner, you're going to see the option manage products. You are going to tap on that. After selecting Manage Products, you will be redirected to a new page. On this new page, you will be able to remove the sample products if you want. So all you will need to do is simply select the products. So you can select it by tapping on the box right here. After you have done that, you can either tap on More Actions right here. After selecting More Actions, you could tap on Delete and you will be able to delete all of the sample products. After you have done that, it is now time to add your product. So you can choose to either sell physical or digital products. So you're going to tap on new product in the top right hand corner. Then you can select either physical product or digital product. So let's say for example, I were to select digital file. After selecting digital file, you'll be redirected to this page and you could upload the file that the persons will receive once they have completed their purchase. So whether it is an image, audio file, document, or zip file. So mine will be an image. So I'm going to select image. Then from there, I'm just going to tap on upload media in the top left hand corner, then tap on upload from computer. And I'm just going to be uploading this image for example sake. Once the image has been added or the media that you're planning to sell has been added, you will tap on add to add to product in the bottom right hand corner. Then you're going to add in the product name. So I'll just call it test product. So you can type in that right here. Then you could scroll down, add in a description. You can also add in images and videos and you can also set your price. So for example, I'll be selling it for $10. Then you can scroll down and if you'd like to track inventory, you could do that. If it was a physical product, you could do that. Then I'll tap on save in the top right hand corner. Now that you have added your first product, as you can see right here, and keep in mind that I did not add a cover image or a video. So that is why you see it like this. Now that you have added your first product, you'll need to set up the payment method. So to set up your payment method, you're going to go over to the left hand menu option. And you're going to tap on getting paid after selecting getting paid you can tap on connect payment method from here depending on the country you're located in you will see different payment options so you can choose to connect paypal and other options as you can see here after doing that all you will need to do now is close out and by the way if it is a case that you like to create a store page for drop shipping or so on you can do that using the same store page all you'll need to do is go over to the left hand menu option, hover over apps, tap on app market. Then from there, you can select any one of the drop shipping apps. So for example, you can tap in the top left hand corner on the search bar. Then from there, you could select online store. After selecting online store, you can scroll down and you can see the different apps that they offer. So whether it is drop shipping, whether you'd like to connect your eBay store, whether you'd like to do print on demand or so on, they offer those type of apps. And once you install them and you upload your product, 
you will see it on your store page. So if we were to close out of this now, and then simply tap on save, you can see the product that I've added right there. And that's it. Hope you found this tutorial helpful and informative. If you did, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe.